Hello friends, this is Ben Adam, the spiritual counselor, always excited to be with us to bring to us some of the revelatory aspect of spirituality. I have received so many positive regards as it pertains to the things that we've been doing here, particularly this series about the spirituality of things. I had promised us that as we go deeper, we are going to be diving into the diverse aspects of nature, wherein we would understand what each thing and what each element of nature carries and represents and so lots of persons have been sharing testimonies about some of the enlightenment they've received as it relates to this subject so i want to talk about today we'll be talking about apple apple the element of apple you know so many persons have used have advised people to use apple for lots of things we have even taught in certain religious gatherings and churches and de de diverse re religious denominations about apple service. We have people say apple service, apple this, apple corn. Listen, people talk about different aspects of apple. But no one is really have really been able to dive into the deeper aspect of apple. What makes this fruit to be so significant amongst all the fruits? In spirituality, we say that apple is the fruit of attention. Apple is the fruit of attention. There's a whole lot that apple carries as it relates to spirituality. An apple, everything, when you see an apple, there is something, of course, we have different, we have different forms of apple, there are different, different types of apple across, but whatever it is, whatever, wherever you're, you could be watching me from, whatever it is, this apple represents the fruit of attention. But there is something significant about apple. There is the power that God has imputed in each of these elements. We've been talking about them. And so the element of apple carries four powerful spiritual virtue. Four powerful spiritual virtue. I'm going to give us two. Four powerful spiritual virtue. We talked about first of all, the, 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 the first is called the agene. Agene. A-N-G-I-E. The agene. A N G I E and gene and gene. This is the force of acceptance, attention, and fertility. This is the force of accept acceptance, attention, and fertility. Should you experience a certain level of um, spiritual resistance or rejection, probably in your workplace, lots of things you've been doing, a whole lot of things, but it appears that people are still rejecting you. People are still rejecting your business, your proposals. Play with apple. You get some apples, you make utterances on them. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever has caused rejection in my life, whatever has caused stagnation, whatever has made people not to see me in the light of who I am, as I consume this fruit, as I consume this element, let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. You make prayers and you consume it. I've told us that everything you see in nature is an extension of the creative and manifestative power of the Almighty. When you are looking for the power of God as it connects to acceptance and attention and authority and favor, attraction, the fastest way is through the use of apple. Because when you pray through Apple, you are accessing different, because everything you see in nature are the different aspects of God. Everything. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And so we have another aspect of, of the Apple called the Molash. M-O-L-A-S-H. The Molash. The Molash. This is the force of fertility. This is the force of multiplication and abundance. This is the force of increase, multiplication, and abundance. Maybe there are things in your life, you are working, things are going on, but you need increase. There appears to be sluggishness in your life. You make prayers, you get apples. You get some apples, apple, you get different kinds of fruit, but most importantly, you get apple in much quantity. You do it, you make prayers on it. You could, you could get a little quantity of anointing oil. You anoint, anoint, anoint them. Just drop a little, just a little quantity of oil on them. On the different fruits. You make prayers on it. Then you take one of each of those fruits out. Then you share the rest of people. 
but let there be much upon on it. I need increase, fertility, increase, multiplication, abundance. This is the power that God has embedded in these things. There is a whole lot, like I promised us, that we're going to be going deeper and deeper. Oh, in the next episode, we'll try to go into the, the spiritual power of water. I've told us that water carries 16 spiritual virtues. When you use water to bathe, whether for spirituality or whatever, every time you use water, you are coming into a covenant with this, one of the spiritual virtues of water. And that is Lajans. One day we're going to go into that as we go into this episode. Follow me on Instagram as Spiritual Counselor. Subscribe to this page as Spiritual Counselor. Till I come your way again, this is Ben the Spiritual Counselor. Bye for now.